Hello everyone, Chris here with Platinum Reviews, and we are back again with some more Prince of Persia, The Lost Crown. This time around, we are fighting Varam, however you say his name, Varam, again. Again. This fight sucks. I'm sorry ahead of time. Uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel if I helped you out in any way. I definitely am glad that I could be there to assist you in this bullshit. Now, this fight is three different stages, three different fights, pretty much. There's a lot to digest. And it's not fun. So uh, let's jump into it. Early on, there's a few things that he's going to be doing. Uh, there's going to be this move, which is like suns attacking towards you. This move where he's shooting flaming sun balls at you. Uh, one thing to kind of point out is your health does not regenerate in between the fights. So be frugal because if you use all your potions, you are not going to have enough for the later fights, which there are later fights. So be cautious of your health. That's the biggest thing I can say for the beginning fights. Now, like I said before, he has a few different moves that he does. This one, he does the flames towards you. If you try and just sit up there and attack him and attack him like I just did, he's going to hit you. This move right here, you're going to try and get around it to the other side. I had another one where I did really good on this, but this is the complete one. So I figure it's easier for me to just explain it in one fell swoop. Every time in between the fights, you are going to have that moment where he kind of falls down, you have to hit the thing, and uh, he responds. So here he is, respond again. Um, super, super fun. Um, and you're just going to kind of keep hitting him and attacking him, same way. Now, you're going to see here he is going to start doing this move again, which he did in the first one, uh, first fight with him. It's same similar thing. You're going to dodge those little whatever those are and then when he does the yellow attack towards you parry it time it well and you'll be good those ones if you are close enough try and pull towards him and jump to the other side of this now this move i don't suggest doing what i just did get out of there move away from it no matter what it's going to hurt you unless you have that parry one but i felt like that parry ability just wasn't really worth it now same thing as before the second time he's going to actually push down two of these so what i like to do is for that is kind of time it to where those um fall down uh this one i need to point out that one i'll, I'll show you next time it comes up but uh yeah, you're going to try and time it to where you can get back up to attack him. Uh, this move right here, when you see this come in, create a time warp on the outside and then warp to that and then go back and attack him again. You can pretty much get that done with one warp. You don't have to create another one uh, and you're going to keep just attacking him. That's going to get him done with the second phase and then you're going to go to the third phase. Actually, I want to say this fight is four phases altogether. It's a, it's a doozy. This, this is a long fight. Um, same thing as before. You're going to destroy that little thing. And uh, yeah, we're going to be going on to the next one. The next one, you are fighting two of him. Hey, why not? Uh, you're going to be dodging the fire things. You can try and jump up and do a little bit of attacks to him here, but you're not going to get a lot in. Uh, same thing as before. He's going to be doing a lot of the same moves that we've already seen, but you have two of them. Uh, this one, you're going to dodge those, dodge, 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 jump. Anytime you see him slam to the ground, jump because he's going to do a widespread circle attack uh this time around since this is the third phase he's going to actually do three of these suns so uh just constantly dodge him do not do what i did uh, i just did not do a good job at dodging at all um you're going to see this move now this move you're going to create a time portal of yourself i didn't do a good job there but create a time portal of warp of yourself and dodge to the other side of it and then warp back to yourself after those have gone down um i think i do it on the next part of this fight uh but yeah it <laughs> Uh, this fight was not fun. Um, anytime you see him do that spin, you're going to jump into the ear. You can uh, parry him or block him, but he just continues to do his attacks. So it just sucks. Um, as Same thing as before, you're going to see him do these moves. This move, now that he has two, he could go from either the left or right side. So uh, just kind of pay attention to where he is and then parry him like before. And we are going to go on to the next part. Now, this next part uh, is actually a lot easier. So as you can see, I had no health. I was pretty sure I was about to die. But I was like, okay, cool. I beat him. I didn't beat him. He was back again. And I was like, oh my goodness. So he moves on to the next phase. Now, the nice thing about this next phase, I don't think you get your potions back, but you get 
full health back. Your character also becomes a little bit OP. So let me go ahead and skip this cinema and show you what I'm talking about. All right, so now that you're a little bit strong, as you can see, full health again, but no potions. Uh, I easily beat him on this stage. I think uh, you have like thrust attacks that you have. Uh, this is, I actually pulled this off this time. So you're going to use that time warp. Uh, be sure to jump in the air whenever you see that. Uh, same thing, jo dodge, dodge, dodge. He's going to do the slam down um, and you're going to dodge that. If he does do the slam down, um, that move, just run off to the side and then zoom in and attack him. If you have that level one ability, I kept that the whole game. Like, I really like that ability. Um, you can definitely do some damage with that. Uh, jump up in the air, attack him. Um, yeah, it just felt like I was a little bit OP with the character this time around. So I feel like you were pretty much meant to win with this one. Uh, you're not regaining health or anything like that. So, I mean, it would suck if you died on this portion, but... It's a lot of the same stuff that you have already seen. He just does it a lot faster. Uh, that time warp, as you can see, I've pretty much mastered it at that point. It wasn't too bad. And I think that's the big thing. I think I did this fight about 20 plus times, maybe 30. I don't know. It was a lot. And uh, yeah, I just started learning the moves really, really well. So um, yeah, it just kind of became a little bit easier. This wasn't my best run. Uh, I, what, this was the only time I beat him, but the earlier stuff, there was some that I just completely demolished him on. Uh, but yeah, this is one that was kind of complete. So I just did this one, uh, same thing as before dodge, 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 and then parry, uh, time that really well time it when they're like really close to hitting you, uh, don't time it too early because then they are going to hit you and it does a lot of damage, but that is pretty much it for the fight, and that is it for Prince of Persia. If you watched any of my guides, uh, thank you so much for watching them. I also have a review of Prince of Persia, so go ahead and give that a watch and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate you guys for checking me out. This is Chris with Platinum Reviews. As always, keep getting those trophies, and I'll catch you on the next video.